a book was highly recommended for us to read. Actually, our rabbi of blessed memory told us to read it. The book is called The Pledge. It is about, it's an account of the time leading up to the War of Independence. When World War II had ended and the Jewish people were about to declare, or the United Nations was about to help the Jewish people declare the state of Israel. Ben Gurion, who was going to be the first prime minister, knew that once it was declared, the Arabs would attack from all sides. And of course, that's exactly what happened. How were they possibly going to defend themselves? What could they possibly do? There was an embargo, and countries were not allowed, including the United States, to ship arms to Israel. So even if Jews in these countries or other or non-Jews wanted to help Israel, they couldn't. So in an incredibly clandestine way, you couldn't even make, like, even, no movie could be this dramatic. Jews, regular Jews, from all over the world, especially the United States and Canada, were approached, do something. A man in New Jersey, Jewish guy, he owned a factory. And he was approached, do something. And what they were doing was illegal but it had to be done. And they would take bullets, arms, somehow purchasing them, and mark them in boxes and ship them, and it would say like used typewriters or something, or used engines. And really, they were arms. And it was gonna mean life and death for the Jewish people and the state of Israel. The stories are incredible and how they, they bought airplanes that were in Czechoslovakia and the only country that would let them refuel in the world to fly over from the United States was Panama and all the crazy things they did. At the end of the book, there's an incredible quote from a man, this factory owner, like Uncle Lou in New Jersey, who said, we knew this cloak and dagger that we were doing, this clandestine illegal work that my friends and I were helping the state of Israel, he says, we knew we were making history. It was the greatest time of my life. It made me think and wonder, wow, let's look around. Are the Jewish people in need today? The state of Israel is doing great, but are the Jewish people doing great? And if they're not, what can we do, what can you do, to make history? As Rabbi Solomon says, something to think about. I'm Lori, Almost Life.